Hello there, my name is Sophie and welcome to this week's video. This week I thought, because it's the first week of July, which means June is officially finished, you know that's how time works, uh, and the end of June marks halfway through the year. Six months have gone, six months to go, we're halfway through 2019, which is a scary thought in itself. But um, as you may or may not know, particularly if you follow my blog, I'm a very goals orientated person. I like setting myself goals. I like achieving my goals and proving to myself almost that I'm still making progress and always moving forward and looking to improve in some aspect. So I've been religiously setting goals, probably like really properly thinking about it for probably two, two and a half years maybe 2017 was the first time I think I really set new year's resolutions slash goals for the year and 2019 I feel like I've really solidified it I have my year-long goals that I set in the new year kind of new year's resolutions-esque but really I should call them goals for the year they're not really resolutions um and then every month on my blog I write a mini goals um post which is the five things that I choose to focus on for that month and then I integrate that into my weekly to-do list making time to work on the things that I really want to work on it's things like uh, my five goals for this month let's do that I write everything down in my bullet journal with my post-its on the front so I've got my new year's resolutions but um, my five monthly goals for this month are uh, practice driving petrol because I've just bought uh, myself a new car uh, which is something I, it, my, the weekly vlogs are coming. I swear at some point I will actually edit and upload them. But I've just upgraded my car and I've driven diesel for the entire nine months, 10 months that I've been learning to drive. And I've never driven petrol before. I'm going to confirm my uni place and research where to live because as of this week, I've been offered a place to study a master's at Oxford Brookes University. I'll make more videos on that when it's all fully confirmed, but um, yeah, me and my boyfriend will be moving in the next like two months, which is both exciting and terrifying. Third on my July goals are write 35,000 words. Um, I, every year, I like, not every year, um, I have used this online program called NaNoWriMo, which stands for National Novel Writing Month. Uh, and it's in November and it's an online community of people that try to write 50,000 words but in training for NaNoWriMo this year which is in November I've set myself every not every month like every other month every couple of months um, a goal to work up to being able to write 50,000 words in 30 days so this month last month I did 30,000 words uh, this month I'm aiming for 35,000 words in 31 days and then I'll do 40 and 45 until November where I do 50. So this month is 35,000 words. I haven't started yet and it's the fourth, so we're off to a good start. And the last two are run three times a week and stop snacking because I've been on this kind of weight loss journey over the past nine months or so and I really need to refocus because your gal ain't making any progress. Um, and the last one is to save money because as I said, I upgraded my car, which thus means I'm very, very poor now, so I need to make sure, I need to be really careful with my finances this month to be able to pay all my bills. And those are my five goals for July. So that's the kind of little introduction to how I set goals and why I set goals and those kind of things. Those are more short term ones. So today I want to talk about the goals I set myself in January for 2019, check in with them. Um, I have lots of blog posts on it which I will link in the description but I thought I'd talk about it on YouTube because I love talking about this kind of thing and I don't know it might help someone who knows this video is going to be long so the way I've split up my goals I don't know if you can actually see this probably not very well I have three categories which are personal career and creative um, and within those three categories I have three goals uh, some of these are quite specific to a situation I was in at the beginning of the year, but I'm adapting them to still fit. And then on top of those categorised goals, I have 10 kind of bucket list kind of goals. Not bucket list is the wrong phrase, but they're more like one tick things rather than progressional things. So I'll start with the categories, then we'll move on to the bucket list. And yeah, that's about it. So the personal category. The first thing in my personal category is work towards my weight goal. It was around October last year I started 
really really focusing on losing weight because i was the heaviest i've ever been i was so unhappy i was so unfit i felt like i wasn't me i felt like i was foreign in my own body um and from october to uh december around christmas time i lost a stone and i was really really pleased with myself and since then i have lost almost another stone but it's been twice as long and i understand that the more weight you lose the harder it is to lose weight um but i'm still not quite where i want to be i'm much much happier i've been thinking about this a lot and i feel much more like myself if i stayed at this weight that i am right now i wouldn't be medically healthy but i'm pretty okay i'm not devastated i would like to be slimmer i would like to be healthier but again it's always a work in progress number two was prioritize tasks and make time for hobbies stop caring about productivity so much so i've spent the last six months really refining how i make my to-do list how i'm productive within my day-to-day -day, but also making time for doing things that aren't productive like um I have this beautiful electric piano that my parents bought for me when I was taking piano lessons in school and it's elect it's not like a grand proper piano but it's an electric piano that has weighted keys and it's just beautiful and I used to be so into playing music I used to play like four or five different instruments but because I played four or five different different instruments I didn't really play any of them that well um, but I was so into my music at school I was in jazz bands and orchestras and I sang all the time I was in school productions but uh, I've not done that a lot recently and there was a time at the beginning of this year where I did make time for, you know, reteaching myself piano. But um, yeah, that was one of my goals. And the last one in my personal category is self-esteem. I need some. This is one that was kind of a way of wording fix your mental health without using those words. So um, in terms of progress on that, I don't have any self-esteem, I still don't like myself in any way, shape or form and I have been making an effort with my mental health, I've been to the doctors lots of times, I've uh, started a course of antidepressants which is something that I haven't said on YouTube yet but there's that um, and I'm on a waiting list for uh, local therapy. I don't really like talking about it yet but um, at some point maybe Onto the career section, which is interesting. Um, to put a bit of context on where I was at the beginning of the year, um, beginning of 2019, I was in an awful place regarding my career. I had graduated in July 2018, and everyone had told me I'd have no problem getting a job and I'd find something that really suited me. And then uh, six months later, I still hadn't got a single thing. I'd had maybe three job interviews that had all been rejected. Um, I'd been taking on for a freelance position and then no work came in and I got dropped, uh, which was horrible and nothing was going to plan. These goals were kind of related to that freelance work that I very briefly mentioned, but I'm adapting them considering that fell through in like the first week of 2019. It was awful. Uh, so the first one is build freelance career make my own work, be my own boss, superhero woman, essentially. Um, obviously that didn't come, uh, that didn't happen, but um, I'm still kind of taking the principality of um, making my situation work, uh, earning money, which is something that I didn't do in the latter half of 2018 because I was so in denial about not getting a job. It's very complicated. Um, it's not really that complicated, I'm just melodramatic. I'm not making my own work, but I have a job and I'm working really hard to save. Um, and I've just been able to upgrade my car, so it's it's going relatively well. The second one is build my own media kit, save for a camera and refine my skills. I've been working on my photography a lot this year. I read a lot about the theory of photography, which I feel like I missed out on in my education and my degree. I didn't do a photography degree, but... Um, I, there was a photography aspect of the degree. I don't mean to sound cocky, but I have a good eye for a picture. I know what makes a good picture, like the content of the picture, but it was the technicality of knowing how the settings of the camera worked and things like that, that I was really struggling with. So I spent a long time reading about that and understanding that earlier this year. And at some point I would like to get a new camera, new lenses, a whole new kit, but it's something I'm 
struggling to justify paying for or I don't have a reason to use it at the moment but when I go back to uni in September I want to try and get some freelance work I'd really like to work in sport photography I did some dance photography at the end of April I think it was and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and if I had better equipment it would be even better but these are things that I think I'm going to focus on later in the year when I have a reason to because I just can't justify spending three figures or four figures on a new camera or a new lens when I don't actually need it at the moment. And the last one in my career section is make a future plan with work goals, house and relationship aspirations, etc. In my bullet journal, which is my life, let's be honest, um, I created a spread for a kind of five year plan and I I'm going to have to find it now. So yeah, I have a five year plan. I've got this year and the following four years. Uh, I've got what age I will be in all of those years because that just helps me figure it out in my brain. I've got career goals, personal goals, which are predominantly travel goals, and then home goals, which are kind of my relationship goals. So where I, w where I would like my boyfriend and I to be in those years, whether that's location, what kind of house we want, what stage we want to be at, any kind of relationship -y goals like you know I don't want to say it because it kind of makes my tummy turn but um like getting engaged getting married having kids those kind of things but that feels too grown up to talk about so I'm going to gloss over it and the last section is my creative section um the first one is I'm sorry I'm reading my bullet journal down here let's read it up here um continue toward making the most genuine me content on my blog my youtube channel Towards the end of last year, I felt like I was looking at the content I made in 2014 and 2015, which was when my channel was the most successful, and trying to replicate that. But YouTube as a platform has changed. YouTube's viewership has changed. I've changed. Lots of things mean that the kind of content I made back then is not the kind of content I'd make now. I've come to the conclusion that I'm never going to be a YouTuber. I'm never going to be a full-time blogger, however much I would love that. So I might as well make content that I enjoy making rather than making content that I think would make me successful, which is then just really upsetting when it's not. My second goal is write a book, finish something, question mark, write more than I did in 2018, maybe some freelance writing. Uh, well, I've been doing my writing challenges. Um, I'm not sure whether my NaNoWriMo this year will be writing a whole fiction novel or focusing on the more... <sighs> It's, it is fan fiction but for me it's writing for TV because I always find that when I really really enjoy a TV show I want to go write about it, I want to take these characters and explore them and uh, create new characters and see how they fit in the situations and I just really really enjoy that um, so no shade on fan fiction. And the last one is work on photography need to solidify basic knowledge and then work with better equipment, which is basically what I said in the other categories. And those are my category-based goals. Now I'm gonna try and fire through the bucket list kind of goals. The first thing on my bucket list goals list is have a personal training session. Um, as I've been talking about, I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to get fitter, and I think having a professional input would really like focus my journey and see progress and results. The next one is get another tattoo, which I actually fulfilled yesterday. Um, I'm filming this on the morning that I'm, uh, that I'm uploading it. And yesterday I went and got four new tattoos. Um, they probably, you could probably count them as one, but there were four different things. Um, I'll put some pictures up. It's the start of a travel collection on my right leg. I love them. I'm just staring at them because they're, they're right here. Um, so yeah, tick that one off. The next one is read a book every month. I'm kind of alternating that wording between reading, reading consistently and reading 12 books. Currently I've read seven books and we're in July. So the book I'm reading at the moment is my August book. Yeah, I am reading semi-consistently and I'm almost certain that I will have fulfilled my 12 books by the end of the year, if not before. So that's going well. The next one is do a grid drawing every month. And I feel like this needs explaining. <sighs> but it might take like a lot of context. Um, there's a YouTuber called Marie Bits and Clips. I don't think she calls herself Bits and Clips anymore. I think she's Marie That's Me on YouTube. But um, 
I've been following her for a very long time and she has a Facebook group called Cuppa Craft because uh, she's really into all her crafting and homemade things and there was a challenge it was the beginning of 2017 I think she did she does these like monthly uh, crafting challenges and um, one of them in the beginning of 2017 I think it was was um, doing a line drawing and then drawing a grid of like 30 squares or yeah it would have been 30 squares um over the top and f coloring in one a day and by the end of it you've got a nice picture uh that you've d you've contributed a little bit to every day and i really really enjoyed doing that then and i've been thinking about doing it again since because i love the idea of coloring for relaxation and for working on mental health and things like that but sometimes if i sit down with all of these pens and a whole page of like really intricate coloring i'm like I don't know where to start so I found that doing it in this grid method is a much more achievable way achievable is the wrong word um, it's, it's a way for me to approach it uh, that makes my brain a bit happier about it all and just having five ten minutes at the end of each day to color in one square um, is really relaxing for me the next one is listen to more music and use Spotify playlists on my blog I've started this series called Monthly Mixtapes where I make a playlist for every month of the year and it's just what I've been listening to and what I've been enjoying and it's been it's become part of my routine to listen to my Discover Weekly playlist on Spotify almost every week and doing what I can to listen to new music and listen to music more often. The next one is save for a new camera, a new lens or two different kinds of lenses, something specific but it doesn't really matter. Um, spoken about this before, want to upgrade my media kit gonna wait until i have a reason to the next one is have a little trip away every month with my boyfriend um i've loved traveling i love going to see new places and i like having this monthly challenge of finding somewhere whether it be locally or internationally or somewhere else in the country um to go see somewhere new um june is actually the first month in this year that i didn't do this because we were busy and then I upgraded my car so I couldn't afford it. It's looking like July we won't be able to get away either. So I already know I've not fulfilled this goal because I've not had a little trip away every month. But again, it's the mentality of seeing new places, especially in the UK. Like I've done some really big trips around the world and I, w I want to do more of that, but obviously that costs a lot more money. And there's lots of beautiful places in my own country that I've not seen yet. So why not do it all, you know? The next goal is take my driving test and upgrade, upgrade my car. I have taken the driving test and I failed it. So I've got my next one booked. Hopefully I should have made the goal pass my driving test because that is an achievable goal. I should be able to pass my driving test this year. But you know, fingers crossed for the next one. Uh, and upgrade my car, which I have done. And I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, that's two of 10 things. Well, one and a half of 10 things uh, I've achieved on this list. Uh, the next one is improve my posture because I'm five foot ten. I don't know if you can tell I'm slouched right now, and I just I think it's done my back no good, it's done my shoulders no good, and I think improving my posture uh, is just something I'm slowly working on. And the last thing is find somewhere to live and get our own place. When I set this goal at the beginning of the year, it almost sem seemed sceptical, like <laughs> my boyfriend Lucas has a job waiting for him when he passes the driving test and I was happy to relocate with him and then find a job locally in the interim between being able to find a career related job and we've both been really unlucky with everything that's happened this year but with being accepted on this university course um, we know that we're going to move and we're both going to have to get jobs and I think it will have to be like retail jobs for the moment but that's fine and yeah so I will be ticking that goal off in the next two to three months but yeah we'll just see how it goes this video has been super long um if you like talking about goals and things that's great however this video has been just me predominantly talking about me so uh yeah that's that if you want me to make more generic videos on goal setting and making achievable goals um do let me know in the comments down below I've written a few blog posts about these kind of things. Uh, my blog's always linked in the description if you're interested. But otherwise, yeah, I'd like to make content that's useful as well as content that I really want to make. And I love talking about goal setting. I'll wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.